About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken? Or you've got something to take up with me. Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd of rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because like I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. 
second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Word is that Novigrad Judging by what neutral. Klug said, the parcel Somehow should be around no here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Menga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? But maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine. A full purse of Novigrad crowns. As proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the granary. Near anything that looks rat-related. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promise to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a room left in the granary. 
I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this poor son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. We should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Garrett. You should go now. Before Kareem goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the Bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No. Just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet wars, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. Thanks. You can breathe easy now. In the future, though, remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So, I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time. But only because his honor, the Margrave, might indeed have something to do with the theft. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm-hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. 
Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse, son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Manga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Manga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Glad you're here. Listen. Took a look at the building, and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No. Can't allow it. Nice of you to worry. But I've made my decision. And I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do. No matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Mm, all right.
What do you want? Here for my reward. For the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, Ginger Whore, and you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? Don't talk to her that way. Why not? She's a whore, isn't she? Maybe, but for now she's my whore, and I say you can't insult her. Well, funny you feel that way, but so be it. Now, Philippa, talk. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can claim that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Why the drink? Triss Marigold has been captured. An occasion worthy of a toast, don't you think? Sidarian. 
1261 vintage. Year of the Massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went at home! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Got a silver sword on my back. That not enough? It proves nothing. Dobblers can change their bodies at will into materials that look and feel like silver as well. Materials that have none of silver's useful properties naturally. See, you're an expert on Dopplers. I'd expect a witcher of all... things to understand the value of knowing one's enemy. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Now, let us talk shop. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No. No more. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Go! Oh, bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? I'm looking for a treasure with Siggy Ruvens until recently. Well, well. Furthering the cause of the eternal fire on the one end, Working for criminals on the other. I work for whoever pays me. Like a whore. More or less. Just offer a different range of services. Where's the treasure? Secure in a Kaviri bank. Far and safe from you. Far and safe from Ruvin. Got information about Philippa. Thought you might want to buy it. I do. But not at any price. All right. So free Dandelion. <laughs> First you ask about a criminal's treasure. Now you want me to let loose a blaspheming degenerate. And here I add you for a man that is a being of some moral principle. No doubt we're cut from different cloth, but we don't have to agree on everything to make a deal. We need not agree any terms either. I could simply force you to tell me what you know about Philippa. Doubt that. I really doubt that. Whereas I'm a man of great faith. Guards! In here! I think that's all of them. That was close. What happened? I thought Menga took the bait. He did. Until I asked about the treasure. Geralt, we talked this over. You agreed. Ugh. Fine. Never mind. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. 
Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Betty does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, uh, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. I really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a Trist. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Menge! Indisposed. Very indisposed. But you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Fuck off! I can take this! Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. Ah! You must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. Ah! Enough! Enough! So, can I talk? Ah, yes! Yes! Just tell me what the fuck about! Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? Oh, shit! No way! Sure about that? <laughs> Radovid! I work for Radovid! Radovid? What did he hope to gain by helping Menga? He seeks to clear the field. Before he arrives. Makes sense. Easier to take a city whose majors are gone. Bastard. He'll pay for this. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menga captured him. But... That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have set up at the start. Before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. 
Dandelion is on Temple Isle, in the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in auction first. Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? Not so fast. Harold. I know. He's seen too much. But why? I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But... But I helped you! I helped! It's not so bad, I promise. Case lay and gay. How do you feel? Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? Been wondering. How's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. Mm, you guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of, exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea do you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. 
Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. I think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye. You're surely right, miss. I... It just worked what I expected since Lady Bagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of me. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's got a win. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him. The guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Ain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Bagel Bud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Bagel Bud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals of blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Bagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. And you're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Something I need to do first. Fine. Buy our masks while you're at it. And you should change. Ball attire. I bet you can get everything you need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that and come see me. certainly took my request to heart. You mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. 
A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. Here's an order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. We weren't supposed to draw any attention. What? Nothing happened. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Marigold. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Diefenthal. I'll tell you the story later. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all. How do you recognize me? Your voice. Unmistakable. Oh, yes, those famous witcher senses. Finally getting some use out of them. And who's this creature with you? May I be introduced? Hey, Reuben. It can't be! Is that the lovely warble of my favorite accomplice? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I've a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert's in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source, merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. 
He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But, please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from him. Is that you? Geralt of Rivia? And Triss? I did not see you on the guest list. Baroness, we're here as friends of the family. As am I. Yet my name was there, at the very top of the list. Not at all surprising, my lady. These courtesies grow tiresome quickly. Why are you here? I think you should ask Lady Vagelbud. I shall. Believe you me. Yes. Nice mask. Rawr. Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> I am a black panther. <laughs> oh my count. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Relieved to get that mask off. If only for a little. Great view from here. And there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. An amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How do you meet? Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and... just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed... sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the Mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> he must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. 
I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> <laughs> Careful. At last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Oh, I've begun to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Glad I could help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it? It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. You daft! Wanna get us killed? What's the problem? What? Slaughters a hunter at our doorstep and then asks what the problem is. Plowing mutant! We can hide the corpse. The old street saw what happened. The guards will come. Turn us in. Calm down. We've put you at risk, true, but we'll make it up to you. Give us a necklace and get out of here. Stop. I'll take it off myself. didn't. Their behavior, disgusting, I know. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. I was worried about you. City's crawling with hunters. I know. We had everything in place. We were ready to sail. But the hunters moved faster. They locked all the gates, placed guards at every corner, all in one night. Then they started searching the city. Street by street, house by house. They stop anyone who seems even slightly suspicious. Mostly it's common folk with rabbit's foot charms or lucky horseshoes. But sometimes they get it right. 
Arrest actual mages. High time you forgot about your fellow mages. Saved yourself instead. Would you abandon Vesemir? Eskel? Lambert? Leave them behind just to save your own skin? I understand you're worried about me, but I can't just pack up and leave them all. I know what awaits those who fall into the Hunter's hands. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Bertold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Bertold and Anise? Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? Mm -hmm. Help too and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? We should help Anise and Bertolt. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Fine. But then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. Lead the way. You alright? Can you walk? I yeah, yes. I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. Bertolt? Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. I can't guarantee you'll be safe if you come with us. But if you stay here, you will definitely die. He's right. We'll hide somewhere. Wait it out. Darling, I beg you. Shut up! I told you last winter we should leave, but no, that didn't suit you. Well, here's your comeuppance. We're going. Now. Go... going. Thanks. Damn it. We took too long. Too long? We set out to rescue two people. Yes. And lost one. Knew exactly what he was signing up for. Small comfort. This is no time to mourn. Come with me. This way, Geralt. Tris? What happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No. Everything's not all right. Carol, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. By the tears, my dear lady. You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born already. You fleeing to Kavir too? <laughs> no, but I am helping the others set up. You know me. Bleeding heart and all. <laughs> Can only start bleeding now. They've been burning mages for months around here. But well, only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir. Especially among King Tancred's returns. Shh. The trace is about to speak. We'll talk later. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir would take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. So we can find a captain we can trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness. Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. 
In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a state begging for mercy. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Yes, the help of a Redanian spy, Bradovich's right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You... This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. I'm gonna enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail, and don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dietzra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. Finally. You bloody took long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Wood's rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the... Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Need any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. Stay with me. Carol, not this again. Especially not here. Not now. Miss Marigold! We got a sail! Please. We had our chance, but let it go. I... I love you. Miss Mary Gold, we're casting off! Well, mate, at least you tried. A sorceress turned me down once. Want to hear the story? Go for it. What's the harm? As you know, my heart fluttered for Philip Eilhart back when we both served Redania. One day, I doused myself in fragrances like a whore in a heat wave, put on a pinstripe doublet, they make you look slimmer, you know. And I went to her, told her, Philippa, with so much in common, and so on. You know what she said? Pinstripes hadn't slimmed you down enough? No. She said, Geralt, turn around. Not in the mood for jokes. No, I'm serious. Turn around. Triss? I thought... So did I. But I changed my mind. Thank you. I'm grateful. Dijkstra, no offense, but... Leaving, already gone. Let's go somewhere. I know a spot where we can watch the ships. Lead the way.
They're safe now, right? Yes, you can stop worrying, really. Oh, you're right. Just hard to believe it's over and done with. I've dreamt of this moment for months. Promise me one thing. You'll stop risking your life for others. No. No? Triss, not a mage left in Novigrad. But you're here. I can defend myself. Well, from Kikimores, Griffins, Bruxay, but not from the hunt. You and Siri will need my help, and I'll be at your side. This how you imagined things? No. I imagined I'd be on the ship with the rest of them, and you'd be on shore, waving a handkerchief, maybe. I hope you don't regret it, that things have gone differently. Well, they say Kavir's lovely this time of year, but I prefer you. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm pretty lovely this time of year, too. I won't disagree. We might still go there one day, when it's all over. That would mean balls and banquets, and other boring things that start with a B. Mm-hmm, but also baths. Bombs, body massages. You can make up for all those years you slept in the bushes and bathed in mountain streams. Sounds tempting. Would I have to give up being a witcher? No, you take a monster contract from time to time to stay sharp. Nothing too dangerous, though, so I wouldn't have to worry. And I'd be waiting for you. Let me guess. With a candlelit dinner? Candles, sure. And a bed. Actually, we've never needed either. Signaling us. It's a message. H L A K B R. Whole lack, but it makes no sense. It's code. What did you expect? Thank you, Geralt, for this, and for what you said at the port. I should have said it long ago. So, what happens now? Afraid it's a bit too early for happily ever after. We'll get our happy ending one day. Yes, somewhere over hill and dale. It's a cruel world we live in. It's hard to make plans. Even harder to invest any faith in them. Though you might want to, badly. You were in an entirely different mood a moment ago. Hush. The spark expired. Don't worry about me, Geralt. And please, be careful. I've got to find Ciri. I'm close. I will find her, or someone who knows what happened to her. Where will we meet? Can only think of one place where both witchers and sorceresses are welcome. Caremore, haven't been there in a while. So, I guess I'll see you, Witcher. I'll miss you. A lot. 
I miss you too. Welcome back, child. Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. What? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. Would you like a moment to yourselves? Sorry, we, uh, we didn't mean to. I know. It's a simple question. Do you want some time alone? Long as you really don't mind. Seemed to take that pretty well. Or wants us to think she did. Haven't been here in a while, have you? Too long. How's the guest room? Anything changed? Mm-hmm. The bed. It, uh... <laughs> Broke. Not a problem. We'll sleep on the floor. Spread out high and... Ahem. <clears throat> Siri, you know that. Past burning pyres on the way into town. Non-humans on them. Things grow worse by the day. No mage is left in the city, so the hunters had to find someone else to victimize. We need to resolve everything as quickly as possible and leave Novograd. Any success with the launch? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. And the others? Kira, Margarita, Philippa? Kira? 
I thought you of all people would know. You can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that. As she needed the impetus to start anew, she found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. I hope they work out for us, and we actually find Philippa and Rita. We will. We have to. I'll rest easier when they're both here, with us. Know where they are? Yennefer's looking into Rita's whereabouts. I have to figure out where Philippa is. Know what Yen's found out? You'll need to ask her. I've been busy trying to find Philippa. So, learn anything? A few things that could be interesting. Prefer the long version or the short? Guess. In short, she was here, at this inn, under our noses the whole time. Transformed, seated on her perch with a dimeridian band on her leg. Zoltan's owl? Mm-hmm. So why isn't she here anymore? Because Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Yep, that's Zoltan for you. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Sultan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's Feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Pass of Flora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham, et Blier, Robert Michele, Alferte. What's that? Um, nothing. A preliminary image. What? Stop interrupting, I have to focus. Graham, et Blier, Diagnis Kerle, as Pirchena, a es place. Looks familiar. The bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. That was the recent past. Anything might happen to her in Dijkstra's hands. Let's go. Not so fast. The first image. What was that? Nothing. Really. Don't brush me off. I know how hydromancy works. Image appeared because you're thinking about it. It was... King Tancred asked me to become his court advisor. In Kavir. You mentioned Kavir in the lighthouse. I understand why now. Did you accept? Only a fool would refuse. Tancred's been supportive of the mages from the start. The evacuation was only possible with his help. Now he wants to revive the council and the conclave, and I'm to head both. It's a great opportunity. Congratulations. You don't exactly sound thrilled. Bit worried, that's all. You really ready to dive into politics again? I wasn't sure at first. Ultimately, though, it's something I've always dreamed of. The dream's within reach now. I'm not about to let it go. Tancred's picked a strange battle. All the North's hunting down mages, and he's out to revive the Council. These are troubled times, and Tancred could be alone in remembering that mages are a powerful force. And that we know how to show gratitude. 
The vision was of a house, not a royal court. It's the house that awaits us in Pont Vanis. When we're done here, when all this is over, once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri's safe, I'd like us to live there, together. Guess you've got everything planned out. You don't like it? I like it. A lot. the details later. Right now, we need to get Philippa. Right. Come on. Worked out nicely, don't you think? What are you talking about? You and Triss. Never expected it, to be honest. Life's full of surprises. So, how did the two of you... End up together? With Yen, it was fight after fight, lots of arguments, drama. Not saying it was bad, but... But what? Got to be exhausting. With Triss, it's not. I finally feel... harmony. A calm. Feel like things are the way they're supposed to be. Triss, everything all right? Yes. I just wanted a moment to talk to you, before... before it begins. Chin up. The hunt's weakened. We've got... No, no more about the battle. Just... hold me. And say something nice. Hmm. There's a lighthouse not far from here, you know. Geralt. Are you suggesting we... No. Well, at least not right now. Just wanted to say... Wanted to say that since... Since Novigrad, whenever I see the beam of a lighthouse, I feel good. Thinking of you. Unbelievable. You said something romantic. You! Geralt of Rivia! Moment of weakness. Well, none of those during the battle, please. If anything should happen to you. I'll manage. You always say that. I haven't killed me yet. Well, except for that one time. Ah, uh, Geralt, you're so charming when you try to be funny. Try? Take it back. That was a great joke. <laughs> sure. I love you, you know. You trying to make me cry? Siri never let me forget it. Go on, get. As it may be to believe, Geralt planted roots in faraway Kovir. He and Triss settled down, their home warm and smelling of freshly baked cakes. Guests were always welcome, no matter the day or the hour. The Witcher would take jobs at times more from habit than need, for Triss earned a true fortune as the mage advisor to Kovir's king. Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. In the flesh. I thought you were in Kavir. I got tired of waiting for you, so I decided to head to Toussaint, catch some sun, see how things are going. You said it would only take a moment. 
Things are pretty much wrapped up, luckily. We'll be able to head north soon. I hope you're not upset I came like this. Without warning. True, I haven't always been fond of surprises. They remind me of work. The law of surprise, surprise child. But I think I've changed my mind. Seems surprises can actually be pleasant. Very pleasant. Let's go outside. There's this one cozy spot you're gonna love. How are things in Kuvir? Amazingly boring and predictable. Council meetings mainly concern trade matters, tariffs, storage regulations, that sort of thing. Missing the excitement? You know the Athiri saying, may you live in interesting times? Well, I've already done that, and now I'm looking for a bit of quiet. The other mages I brought with me from Novigrad, or who made it north on their own, feel the same. You wouldn't recognize them. No conspiracies, cabals, plotting. They just sit there and work. For the good of the kingdom. Sometimes I think it's all too lovely to be true. That something's bound to happen. Another war, or some other horror. <sighs> but for now, it's nice. And once you finish your business here and come join me, it'll be even better. So, how do you like my vineyard? I think you know the answer to that. I like it a lot. House is big, but not showy. Lovely location. Perfect for romantic getaways. Just finished some remodeling. Paid through the nose for it, but I think it was worth it. There are already some new saplings and flowers around the grounds, but I think it's still missing something. Hmm. Maybe a hedge maze? With a statue in the center? One that's stately and nude. Ugh, Geralt. Don't bring up that ball. The wine got to my head and I... Not bringing it up to tease, but to reminisce. That evening, it was magic. And your dress. You looked lovely in it. I've got it with me. I could put it on one evening. We'll dine outside by candlelight, listen to the music of the cicadas, hmm? Can't wait. How'd you find me? Kavir's a long way off. I have my ways, Geralt. A hydromancy, for example. Oh yeah, that's right. So, what becomes of us? See anything else in the reflection? Mm-hmm. Zoltan moves in. Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> you can breathe easy. Far as I know, he settled down in Novigrad and has no intention of budging. In all seriousness, though, I did see a few scraps of our future, but... I'd rather not tell you exactly what. Why not? Because you said you've grown to like pleasant surprises. This is your first time in Tucson, right? Want me to show you around a bit? Sorry, but I've already made plans. Oh? What are you going to do? Lie down in the sun, and not move an inch. Ah, right. A packed schedule. Not overdoing it a tad. Oh, gotta get the most of this weather before I return north. Know that joke about how to tell when summer has come to Kavir? The rain isn't quite so cold. <laughs> and sadly, that's not far from the truth. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. Now you'll change your mind and not come join me. I wouldn't worry about that. Mind if I leave you here alone for a moment? Just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> 